an odd hand to surrender Lettuce on the turn, isn't it? I mean, how's he going to work back through this and figure well, it out? Well, I, I think it's because it's so cheap, he's got to just put the 15,000 in, Jesse, and, that, and that's the end of it. Yeah. 81,000 out there. If he double please with his sticks, he gets another 15 grand out of him. A lot of players would have raised that on the turn and lost lost their man, wouldn't they? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, he's thought about it well. You can tell, he, you know, it was in his mind he wanted a raise, but he don't want to lose his customer. He wants to nick a few more chips. And uh, the time it took, and then he just flat called him, was a good play. Surrender's gotten very unlucky on the turn. and. Uh, oh, well, if he goes for that for... <laughs> I can't see it myself, but... He's a great decision maker, yeah. Surrender. Well, I mean, he's not beyond passing this, but it, it does seem so cheap. If he's putting Dixie on a king. I'll let you have it. Yeah, nice wow. play. He's a good player. He nice play. Good player. <laughs> he is a you know, good in his player. mind, if he's putting Dixie on a king, can he get him off it? So. 25 years ago, they said Surrender was one of the best in the world. And uh, there's been a lot of other world-class players of clubs since then, but it's not like Surrender's lost anything. I mean, he's... Uh, no, well, it ain't like you got to go down to the gym every day to play poker, <laughs> is it? Well, I'm from South London. I play three or four nights a week. All around London, Brighton. I haven't played in any uh, TV tournaments as yet. This is my first one. So I'm a little bit nervous, but, which I didn't think I would be. But, uh, so, touch wood, I think it goes to plan. It felt like... Uh this heat was going to be sort of a long, drawn-out affair, but now you feel like the, the blinds are going to go to three and six pretty soon, and uh, it's going to be kind of a pleasure to watch. There's uh, there's going to be some good play in here. Yeah, but the way they're all playing, it's all a bit cat and mouse, ain't yeah. it? So, yeah, you're right. But we've seen them. Um, oh, okay. Oh, well, I'll check it out. Then. Kind of set up for some good poker here. I mean, uh, I didn't realise that they had those kind of games. I mean, I normally play. Cool. Those kind of levels on full tilt and on the other side. Raise so. fifteen thousand. Uh, <coughs> I was going to say, Grundy, uh, if he believes McCool, will be aware that he limped in with a deuce five before, but he's actually got the ace here, don't he? Yeah, but he's got to be careful, Mick. He ain't got that that many chips. You know, all of a sudden he hits off, he hits off the flop, and then he's involved again for another fifteen thousand. You know, you you got to draw your line in the sand now. Grundy's, Grundy's raised 15. Yeah. And uh, there's only eight in there, so he's, he's actually bet twice the size of the pot. <laughs> what does that look like to you if you're Mick McCool? Look like he wasn't looking. <laughs> I'm all in. Cool. Wow. Well. So I, the over the over bet looked weak. <laughs> yeah. The over bet absolutely <laughs> fooled him. Yeah, exactly. Like I said, he he's obviously knows he's stacked there, Mick, and uh, he's drew his line in the sand. You know, there's no point calling there. Then he has to call the, the flop, so he's uh, had a go. How did that happen? Well, I talked into it. It's I still don't want no, it. No, I still no, don't no, want no, it. I love it. It's, a, it's sort of a reverse trap. I mean, uh, Grundy's playing on a fun level here. And, uh, I don't know, McCool. Go on, get the steam. Uh, he won't steam, surely. Oh, well. Oh, that's a McCool's all in yeah, here, and uh, he's not liking this. He had just got himself it's back into the game. Yeah, yeah. The but I guess this is the this yeah, is the so pros yeah, and cons of his game. It's looking bleak. Kowalski. King or three. Or not in them bound. Yeah, you're all right. That's the end of it. Not in them today. Um, it's a fun guy to watch, but really, he got uh, absolutely throttled there by Grundy. In Japan, they call it Ari Carry. I played an aggressive game, which is my game. Um, I went in with King 3 against Ace Jack after Ben Grundy had said, uh, go all in and I'll call, you know, which I thought you know was a bit of weakness, uh, which it was and it wasn't. You know, Ace Jack's not a great hand. I had King 3, had two life cards, and... Uh, I didn't hit, and that's the way it is. Well, I think we've only had oh one flop out of the last ten hands. Maybe it's 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 that part of the game. It's it's a fun part of the game, but uh, there's a lot of head games going on, especially because uh, 
Okay. If you're at the table, you don't see anybody turning cards over. Yeah, well, plus also, Jesse, when you're only four-handed, you know, the odds of two of you or more picking up decent cards out of the four are very remote. That's what, you know, a lot of players forget this. You know, uh, you're probably only about 70% that one of you pick up a nice, nice hand out of the four, so... Grundy spent a little bit of time in the tank, a little bit of time looking at Curtis, considering his options. It's 20,000. He's on the button. I think if he puts in a raise here, right. it'll be the... I don't think this guy's capable yeah. of passing ace-king here. Um, I think all the chips will be going in. Go 60,000 total. Well, he's made a raise the size of which... Uh, Phil can make it oh, about 90,000 more. It's going to be a... Jesse, yeah, he's 100% yeah. he's all in, I'm telling you. Yeah, but uh, if, if he ships it, it may not be an automatic call for Grundy. No, no, neither do I. I, mean, I, I can't see him um, flat calling with the Ace King. Mm, and I can't see him passing. Good one, everyone. <laughs> I'm away. Pass. Told you. you yeah. Yeah, you're quick now. Does Grundy uh, is Grundy pre-planned what he's going to do here? Has he put Phil Curtis on something exact? He'll definitely pass. T too, too big a chance. There's a bigger pair. Yeah, yeah what was that? pair of threes. What's, what's he putting the other guy on? <laughs> he's got a pass. That's uh. <laughs> it will be quite a big pot if he calls. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> I mean, Curtis is delighted because the fact that That's Grundy hasn't awesome. called already uh, means he's... Uh, well, of course, he's feeling good, honey. Yeah. No insta-call. That's good news. There you go, see? He's just reiterated what you said. Oh, it's it's around about 100,000 to call. He's getting two to one here. I, and uh, he's only... He the thing is, Jesse, he might be getting two to one. You know, and he yeah. could think he's a two-to-one dog, but if he's wrong, he's out. Right. That's his tournament. You know, and don't forget, they're playing for second place as well. Yeah. You know, 100,000, you know, he's, he's still there. <coughs> so ship it to Phil Curtis, who's going to take the lead here. 225, 26,000. And uh, it's fun to win those hands with ace-king. Uh, uh, of course it is. Taking 60,000 out, and uh, you don't even have to turn your cards over. You don't have to survive a flop turn a river. Surrender, of course, was uh, an engineer. Graduated when he was in his younger days. He's graduated from a very prestigious college, and uh, oftentimes you, you have a drink with him at the bar. He says, I wish I had stayed an engineer. <laughs> Raised to 20,000 total. Nice. Nice. <laughs> I think it's it. Well, he's going to get a call the worst one. He re raised with Ace Jack last time. Surrender uh, bet into him, I remember, on the level two. Pass. Yeah, he's passed. Pass. Wow, well. what uh, respect. You can see what kind of image Dixie oh, has oh, built for it. himself. All in. But, yeah. uh, raised all in. I knew this behind all in with this fella. I'll tell you what, he had a bit of um, fifth sense there, Phil Curtis, didn't he? He's Amazing. got out of that. Yeah. I mean, we know Dixie's going to pass. Um, just trying to figure out about that. Is it probably because it was because Ace Jack is you just you hate you hate to run into a buzzsaw with Ace Jack. I guess yeah. pair of tens is a much different spot, isn't it? Yeah, of course it is. But uh, this is. Uh, I think you're just being bold. Hmm? I think you're just being bold. So this is Dixie spending cool time then. trying to... <laughs> I'm happy either way. It's brash. I would call me. You would call. <laughs> the milky bar kid is strong and tough. <laughs> <laughs> But only the ace, best ace is nine, good enough. I call. He, uh, you, you can you can see part of his uh, success. You know, <laughs> there's a there's a certain element of you of a, there would be a certain kind of person who would just start to see red. <laughs> and, and he's talked into. He's definitely not calling Dixie. He's no. just going for the motions. He don't want to.